Okay, so some of you might have heard of the salt method for um, bonding 3D prints to plates. There's this long, long PDF that's going around. It's, there's a link to it in the description. Have a read through it, but I thought I'd try it all out and see how it goes compared to a couple of other methods. So first, just giving my build plate a good clean. First with water and then with some acetone. Make sure there's no residue or grease or anything on there. This is just a, a standard glass build plate. Some thermal transfer stuff underneath it. So first off, I thought I'd try printing on just plain glass. And that went about as well as you'd expect. But still, that's our kind of zero point to work from, so at least tried it. So I'll um, clean all this up, and again, between each print, I'll clean the build plate back with water and acetone so it's perfectly clean. Fair test along the way. So, good old glue stick. Now this works really well. Many of you will be using it. I've used it plenty. It's great. The problem I have is that it's fiddly to clean up. And if you have a large print, it, it can be difficult to remove. Um, so this is just a simple vase. It's got a one millimeter contact area on the bottom. It's not particularly challenging print, but it is quick. Now I thought I would try pushing my scales against this and see what they registered when it disconnected, but it, they don't go high enough. So I'm just going to pull it off my hand. Um, it detaches from the plate, what can I say? It doesn't take too much force. If there was more contact with the plate with the, a different print, it can be difficult and I needed a scraper to get the skirt out. So clean everything back again. And I'll mix up some salt water. In the document he says make it really salty. So I just banged a load of salt in, give it a good stir till it's dissolved. It took longer than I was expecting, but there you go. And to apply it, just get a little bit on the corner of a kitchen towel and wipe it onto a warm build plate. I think mine was at 40 degrees, 45, something like that. That helps it to evaporate. And what you want to get is a very thin sheen of silt, of salt over the over the plate. Um, it's difficult to see. I'll try shining a light on it just to see if I can make it a bit more visible, but it really is just a very thin, thin coating sitting on top. I probably didn't need to give it any more. It was probably okay as it is. But again, thin, even coating. And then, yeah, just running print. I mean, it, it works. Well, it's it's easily as good as a glue stick in my experience. Um, when you come to remove prints, it does seem to be a bit easier, especially if you have a large contact area. And then the batteries run out of my camera during the time lapse, so you can get a bit of it. You need to let the build plate cool all the way down before you start trying to remove things. When it's hot, it sticks like nothing else. It's incredible. But when it's cold, it will just pop off with... It feels like slightly less force than you need for glue. And, and anecdotally with other prints, it's definitely less force. You can see I just pull the skirt up, no problem at all. It's absolutely my preferred method for um, PLA adhesion. I would definitely recommend trying it if you haven't tried it before and yeah that's that's my conclusion it's great read the pdf in the description he's got more information in there but yeah i hope this was a useful video to someone